Let's take a look at the volume of another three-dimensional shape, specifically a cylinder. So let's find the volume of the cylinder below. In this cylinder, we notice that it has a height of 1.5 meters and a radius of 1 meter. So how do you calculate the volume? Well, we start with our formula. So the volume of a cylinder, recall, is the area of the base times its height. Specifically, our base is a circle. And so because our base is a circle, we're looking for the area of the circle, which is going to be pi times our radius squared. And after we get the area of the base or the area of the circle, then we're going to multiply by the height. That together is going to give me the total volume for this cylinder. So let's get to work. The volume of the cylinder is going to be pi times the radius squared. Well, let's see. What is the radius? The radius of the base is just one meter. So that means my R value is just one. So I have that the volume is pi times one squared times, and then I have the height, but again, looking at my picture, my height is the distance from between the two bases. And so my height is actually 1.5 meters. And so now I'm gonna replace H with 1.5. That tells me that the volume for this cylinder is pi times 1 times 1 1.5, or if I like, 1.5 pi, which I could also view as 3 halves pi. And if I pulled out a calculator, I could get an approximation. But notice I left a little space here, and I did that on purpose because when we measure, we measure in what kind of units we have to put our units. When we measure volume, we measure in cubic units. Specifically, this example has meters. So my answer is going to be 1.5 pi cubic meters or 3 halves pi cubic meters. And let me also get my approximation. So if I pull out my handy dandy calculator and get approximately what that would be as a decimal, I get that the volume is approximately 4.712388898. And let me go ahead and round this to the nearest hundredth. So let me go to the nearest hundredth place. Since it's not specified, I tend to go two decimal places out. And so that's going to give me 4.71 cubic meters. Beautiful. If you have any questions about finding the volume of a cylinder, just give me a holler.